Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to mod your client side of Minecraft. You do not need these mods to play on the server. However, they do add some nice touches that will make your life a lot easier. Now, naturally, you're going to need Minecraft on your computer. Uh, I recommend you have launched 1.16 once, uh, point one at least once. After you've done that, you're going to want to take your Fabric installer jar file. You're going to want to double click it and it's going to open up this. We're going to make sure the Minecraft version here is correct, 116.1, and the loader version is on the latest build of 0.88 plus build 0.202. Uh, the select install folder should be by default selected to your Minecraft folder. If you have Minecraft installed on a different hard drive or somewhere else, you might have to manually set this somewhere else. Make sure create profile mark is checked and then hit install. When you do, on your Minecraft launcher, you're going to see the option down here from latest release to now Fabric Loader 116.1. You're going to want to click Fabric Loader 116.1 and you're going to want to have launched the game at least once to play it. Once the Fabric Loader 116.1 has launched successfully, you're going to want to quit out of it and then you're going to want to go to your Windows search bar and type run. In the run folder, you're going to want to type percent app data percent, hit OK, and this will take you to your roaming folder where dot minecraft can be found. Under dot minecraft, you're now going to find a mods folder. In this mods folder, you're going to want to place the fabric API. Once you've placed this fabric API inside the mods folder, you're going to want to launch Minecraft again and then close out of it one last time. After that, you want to go back into the mods folder and place the remainder of the mods of inventory profiles, just map, light overlay, and mod menu. Once you're at the main menu, you'll see our, mods load, our mod menu has loaded successfully. It'll list all the mods. And when you go into our server, You'll notice the top right hand corner features a mini map. If we press B, we can set waypoints at various coordinates, set our own names, change the color and symbols. If you press the M button, you pull up a mini map of the area. The bottom button in the bottom left shows all your waypoints. And then the button in the bottom right snaps to your location. Uh, you can use the jump button to teleport to the select waypoint that you have. Uh, for example, I could teleport to my house. Uh, all the way over here, we close out of the main man, mini map and we're back here again. F7 is our light menu. Uh, F7 puts these X's on the ground. Yellow X's mean that in daylight this area will be lit up. No mobs can spawn, but under nighttime mobs can spawn, such as the skeleton. A lack of X's means there's enough light to be seen there, and red X's means that there is not enough light and the mobs can spawn there currently. The inventory profiles can be found at the buttons on the top here under sort inventory. You could tap them and it'll sort inventory by types. For example, uh, very nice. You could also sort your own inventory. So, for example, we're going to dump a bunch of stuff to our own inventory. We can drag a giant mess of something and we can boom, all organized. Very nice and neat.